morning and welcome to another episode of the Seattle Shoe Drive. Uh, today I'm going to do a very special shoe to me, a shoe brand. I have a few and it is uh, one that I think every gentleman who has the time to spend that money should. Really reasonably priced. It is the only shoe ready to wear or made to order that I would consider the best of the best other than best folk. So without further ado, the shoemaker is Stefan Obama. Now the shoes come in a beautiful wooden box. Uh, yes, the price tag is pretty high. Let me see. Yeah, it's about uh, $1,450. For a pair of Stefano Bremers. The shoe comes in a box and with some beautiful, it's a wooden box, uh, well packaged with some really nice shoe bag. Tweed! You know, it's almost like the Harris Tweed uh, shoe bags. So, Stefano Bremer is one of those individuals who I've been to his shop when he was still alive. He died, I believe, when he was uh, prematurely 42 a um, few years ago. But they have taken that company and kept the same traditions and the same um, work level of workmanship. So when I visited uh, Florence uh, with a close friend of mine, Rob, we went to Stefano's uh, workshop. I was amazed how he even teaches students to become shoemakers. And there were two Japanese girls, I should post a picture of it, that was learning how to make handmade, hand welted, hand stitched shoes. They also have a bespoke line, but their classic line um, does everything to the bespoke standard without personalized lack. So the only difference, if the shoe fits, you should be fine. You don't need a best book. If it fits perfectly into your feet, you should be more than happy not to spend another thousand or two dollars to get a best book. So uh, without further ado, Stefano Bema, I will show you the detail of the shoe. And this is some, this is a shoe, I would say, if you are not going best book, this is the best handmade, hand welted, hand lasted shoe in the market that I have come across. Okay, for the price. For about fourteen fifty, you get a beautiful Stefano Bema from Florence, right? Um, shoe bag. And I this is a tassel lower loaf. I have a few. I will be doing reviews of them. I mean simply look at the detail right really solid it's not a double sole but a solid sole hidden stitch the detail even in the sole nails on the top uh, there's a series of nails on the sides and around um, size 42 which is size 9 for me and comes with lasted shoe tree these shoe trees are just uh, phenomenal shoe trees solid wood Nice and tight, right? Um, beautiful with that hole to let the air through. Um, and then look, just look at the shoe, the detail. It's technically a whole cut because all this leather is a one piece of leather. There's one seam here, but the piece of leather goes all around. And that the apron is hand stitched. The, um, I mean, I don't know if you can see the detail on camera, but it's just phenomenal. A hatch grain leather. I, I I've given it a mirror shine. You know, um, and it shines so well. I've not done it for a while. I worn this shoe for about an year and a half now, during the summer. But the detail, the tightness, the beveling of you know, it's just, there's not a fiddle back per se, but every little detail, no loose threads. Uh, the tassels are well proportioned and placed, right? I'll take the other shoe as well. 
to to um, to unparish them. If, if I just time the limit for fifteen hundred dollars, right? What you can actually get. So, um, the silhouette is perfect. The heel block is solid, well positioned. You know, um, it's just a beautiful pair. So if you are looking for a pair of shoes that is um, not best spoke and you have the money to spend in the $1,500 to about $1,800 range, Stefano Bema is the pair of shoes you should look into. There are a few other shoemakers that I admire and love, have a few pairs of shoes from them as well. But uh, for the price range, hand lasted, hand welted, done in the old traditional way from Florence, Italy. And Stefano Bema, if you see most of the fine Japanese shoemakers and some other shoemakers, they were all trained by Stefano Bema, right? There are about three or four places who trains these shoemakers, such as John Lobb, Les Lawas, Stefano Bema, but uh, this is just a phenomenal pair and even the shoe tree if you look at it you know it's so well made when it fits it fits really well right um, the shoe trees are about a uh, hundred dollars but it's fully worth it if you are going to have one definitely have uh, buy a pair of shoe trees and the shoe bags are beautiful tweed um, houndstooth and uh, they come in different colors and shapes depending on the shoe but very well made shoe um, I would definitely uh, consider Stefano Bema any day when I want a non best portrait to wear shoe the styles are very modern classic but still has a modern flair to it and uh, you can I actually bought that pair at Neiman Marcus but you can buy them directly from Stefano Bema. You can buy from Neiman Marcus and other fine. Um, I think Nordstrom's may carry it in uh, stores like their Bellevue store or New York. But um, seek them out. It's it's one of the most iconic brands for shoemakers and shoe enthusiasts. I've been to their workshop. Um, it's just beautiful, right? Hope you enjoyed this. Uh, Please subscribe, and if you have any questions on your pair of shoes, send an email to seattle.shoedlie at gmail.com. Uh, reach out to me, and uh, I will respond within 24 to 48 hours. Have a great day.